Morning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, the media houses, and uh, the country. Today, we are gathered here as Uganda Professional Science Teachers Union. This gathering did not just take place. There were meetings that were held, three meetings. One was held by the head teachers, and uh, they pushed to meet us so that they can air out their concerns. And then uh, I told them we will also first meet as a union. So last Saturday, we met as the Central Executive Committee of Uganda Professional Science Teachers Union. And we communicated to them that we would meet them today. And that's why we are gathered here. There is a concern. Uh, when salary was announced, government have in plan uh, to, to enhance salary for all civil servants, but they have faced it. I want to emphasize they have faced it so that it is the news is not distorted. And the first phase, they began with the all scientists. And I know that the media houses, you have captured this story, you know, and deep within you, you know that scientists are sorted. But in our sector, especially the, the, the administrators, and not entirely, the head teachers in secondary, and deputies in secondary only, were left out. But when you look at the entire education sector, like NTC, that is the Diploma Awarding Institution, uh, VTVET, the PTC, farm schools, all their aid of institution who are scientists were considered. So to us, it is marginalization. When salary structure came in 2022, the union took it up and we wrote to different offices, including the first lady, and we have the letter here especially the sister institutions <coughs> like PTC and VTVET, where the head of institution, the uh, certificate awarding institution, is supposed to have the same salary because those ones have been lift, lifted up to 6.5 million. That is the, 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 the salary which the, these uh, teachers are supposed to get. But remember, they have left them at 2 million. Just 2 million. Then the other counterpart is taken to to, to, to 6.5. Then the deputies have been left at 1.6 million only. That is gross. When you deduct it, it comes to 1.2. A deputy, a teacher. We, we have here a testimony of a deputies who have been promoted. He's going to give his story. <coughs> he was earning 4 million when he, he accepted the, uh, the, 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 the letter, the appointment letter. As a deputy, his salary was reduced to 1.6. And now he's in nursing wounds. And I don't think such a person can teach your children. He was earning 4 million, you reduce it to 1.6. These people are merciless. First of all, they are doing it with infinity because it is against the law. Public standing order. When you promote somebody and you are not willing to increase their salary, they must go with their salary. But, but nobody is respecting even the law. And that's why, as a union, we have come, we have come and met them after a very long meeting, discussion, and we have resolved that come next term. I know there's a lot of rumors going on. They even ask us to submit their list. We did that many years ago. Even last year, we did that. Nothing has come out. Now we want money in their account. We want money in their what? Account. If that money is there, they have told us they are working on, 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 on the ghost that was on payroll. Last year they did that, they, they took the money elsewhere. Now this time we are not giving them gap. We want money in their account. And come the beginning of next term, 16th, because we have also got outcry 
from science teachers, especially this one who are being promoted. The newly Minister of Education has issued appointment letter for so many science teachers uh, promoted to deputyship, and all of them have refused to to pick the appointment letter because of that crisis. Sincerely, there is a crisis. There is a very big, big crisis in, in, in that sector. So, we are saying that the science teachers all, just like the medic has always done it, this time they say they are coming in solidarity. So, we are going back to the trenches. We are going to, on come 16th September, if this, if government cannot get the only 16.8 billion, budget was increased from 58 billion to 72 billion. So many trillions were added. And somebody is not sensitive of the need of salary increment. Actually, when I saw that budget, I felt all the civil servants have been considered. But only to see nobody's salary was not increased for anybody. I'd even started telling the arts teachers, now you will get your package. But, but, but to see that the, we don't even know where all that five billion plus added, actually over five, is it 14? Saying every year we are losing 9.7 trillion. Remember the wage bill for this year is just at 7.9. That means government has money to pay everybody who is a graduate above five million. So let, they let them reduce on corruption but for this one, with the presidential directive, we, 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 we are tasking the Minister of Public Service to, 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 to work around the clock. That's why we are giving them two weeks to invite us for a meeting and give us a solution. Not, 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 not meetings just to talk. A solution. We want a solution and the invitation must be formal. We have here a, a, a commitment from Muruli Mukasa when we are calling of industrial action. And I want to read that part. This is the, signed by, by the minister. He said, government commits to remunerate ed teachers and deputy ed teachers with a science qualification similar to their science counterpart. This is in a recognition of the additional teaching duties whereby they, they conduct science lesson besides administrative role that they have. And they told us government is committed to salary enhancement of science teachers and calls upon the Yupustu leaders to hide their members to hold the industrial action. You see, they told us, and this is one of the ground they plotted. If you are telling us to hold the industrial action, to give you time to implement, then you pick one ground and you, you drown on it under feet underground then we have a reason to bounce back and demand for it and that's why we are back this this letter was written in 2022 now we are back in 2024 something has not been implemented and this time round we want it implemented thank you very much and thank you for listening let me now invite the, the general secretary one of the matters that were considered was the failure to enhance pay for science head teachers and deputies that was supposed to have been done in the previous year and it was not done even in this year it was not done we sat to consider the matter having discovered that the science head teachers and deputies were considering taking industrial action we had to ask them and request them not to go for industrial action to allow us to first discuss with government through Ministry of Public Service to ensure that the matter is resolved amicably without causing mayhem in the education sector. Now that uh, today we have met them, we have now projected our voices over the matter. And we have agreed with them that they should go back and do their work in their respective uh, workstations to allow the union to continue negotiations with government through Minister of Public Service and Minister of Education and Minister of Finance to ensure that this matter is resolved without causing trouble to our learners and the education sector at, at, uh, in, in general. In case this matter is not handled within the next few weeks, then this is likely to affect the teaching of sciences in the next term. 
We are therefore requesting the Minister of Public Service through the Honorable Minister Mululi Mukasa to handle this matter with the agency it deserves. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I had also a friend who was promoted last year. He picked his appointment letter, but he did not pick the, promo the, the posting letter. He said he will now take it back until the issue of payment is resolved. Because by logic, simple reasoning, you cannot now move from 4 million to what? To 1.6 million. So we are challenged. Actually, what we are observing now, the government has marginalized us so much. Because now, maybe there is a trick of stopping science teachers from maybe taking up administrative roles. Because now, if I have been getting 4 million, and then you promote me to being a deputy, then you give me 1.6 or 1.7. I think that one logically is see, somebody who is normal and reasoning cannot take up that what appointment. Which, what does that mean? It means that with time, we, the science teachers, or my colleagues who are still young, will not take up those administrative roles. They, they, they ought to remain science what? Science teachers instead. Um, uh, Some time back, I think early this year, some of our colleagues, the deputies and, t and, and, and the teachers, approached me just for consultation. And they were us telling me that they are opting to go to the ministry and request to be demoted. Yeah. Why? Because there is no sense for being a head teacher earning two million and the person you are supervising is earning four million and yet you are of the same what? Qualification in terms of subjects. So we guided our colleagues that be patient. Uh, we shall approach our union to continue engaging the government to have that issue handled. Now last year, on 1st of July 2023, actually before, before that one, we, we, we wrote to the minister in charge of education, Mama Janet Museven, and I, actually I want to thank the first lady. The first lady is the one who informed the president that we were left out on silent on, on sal enhancement. So on July 1st, 2023, the president issued a directive to the Honorable Minister in charge of public service, instructing him to have a side issue handled. Since then, we have tried to engage almost everybody our ministry, public service, minister of finance, our commissioners, and everybody was promising that your issue is being handled. Your issue is being handled. Actually, before the commencement of this financial year, we were very sure that our issue has been handled and this financial year will not have any problem. But we are just demoralized when we saw the salary structures coming out and our issue had not been what? Handled. So, the presidential directive was not honored. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I want to request that the Minister of uh, Public Service, maybe together with the Minister of Education and Finance, handle this issue as quickly as possible. Because we are getting a lot of issues coming up and down in, 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 in our institutions. Because it becomes very difficult for me to supervise effectively how a science teacher does his or her work when me, another senior science teacher, am not recognized. I'm requesting that this issue is handled with the necessary agency so that we can move as expected. Otherwise, I want to thank you and God bless you. I'm currently teaching at Achulbanya Secondary School in Kole District. I am <clears throat> a regional trainer of a secondary science and mathematics uh, program that is SESEMAT in Lango region. Now, this headache of salary irregularity 
is putting everybody in tension. And uh, when I got promoted in the year 2022, August, having tested the 4 million at the end of July, I got hoodwinked by <clears throat> some technocrats about uh, the standing, uh, public service standing orders, 2021. And uh, the section for salary, if I may quote, <clears throat> section BA number 15, reads when a public officer is appointed on transfer within the public service and the salary in his or her previous appointment is higher than the salary in the new appointment. He or she will retain his or her previous salary on a personal to holder basis until the salary level in the new post reaches his or her level. I got hoodwink. I went and took up <coughs> my position as the deputy head teacher. And what happened? Say no, this should have been reflected in the appointment letter and therefore it is not possible. So <clears throat> the newly recruited um, or promoted science teachers to DPTA teachers have declined to pick up those appointments. This is the reality. And yet, um, I thank His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda for issuing this directive which we see today. I, for one, has been following the developments in the several ministries and departments together with the leadership of Abstu. But nothing has come to pass. Now, look at the pain where, where we are. I teach 16 lessons, not only 12 but 16, physics and mathematics, senior five and senior six. But I have not relented because this is my calling. But I will also not relent to pursue my right to be paid well. We became scientists by choice. We chose to do what we are doing now. Some other people who studied humanity also chose to go that way. And therefore, when an opportunity for me to get my emoluments comes, it is mine, should be given therefore to me, my right. Now, we are thinking, possibly there is an intention with the technocrats to get rid of scientists in management positions. We are thinking, and it's possibly true. Now, Indeed, as pronounced by the Chairperson um, Uganda <coughs> Professional Science Teachers uh, Union, from the beginning of next term, as he called upon all the scientists in, <coughs> in the secondary education, the teachers and the science adm administrators, please, we shall move forward to absent ourselves from teaching, to lay down tools from the administrative work, possibly some teachers will be picked to take up those tasks. Otherwise, if you are for one who had been touched by this kind of uh, anomaly, the pain becomes too much. Otherwise, I thank you so much for listening we are moving forward to de develop our country. Thank you very much.